Lily. There you are. Come. Ride with me to the falls. They are Freya's gifts to these unforgiving lands. All right. But if I don't faint at the sight of them, you've oversold the view. You fight with impressive skill, I should say. I taught you well, I think. You taught me how to fight empty air, Vili, and trees and snowdrift and the like. No, I am certain I saved you from a snowdrift once, and a murderous tree. That's how I remember it. Any man who would call a tree murderous is a man who's had one too many blows to the head. That tower there. It recalls the broken wall in Norway on the road to my uncle's. Remember? I do. I remember the bite of that winter's chill as we sheltered from the wind for hours. It was you who got us stuck there. Searching for the chickens you let loose before the Yule feast. I'll have you remember. It's good to ride with you again, Narstek. I told you, that was meant to be a dragon's tail. It was a woody little twig in my eyes. No dragon's tail. Must I remind you of your own disrobed adventures in the pre-dawn streets of Stavanger? Eivor the Pantless, a head soaked with mead, and many pockets full of vomit. A dragon's tail it was, then. Are you sure you want my father's mead? Not afraid you might wake up tomorrow, naked, face down in a hog's pen. Is that what you call your house? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Stonebur was driven or sent there by father to help. sent there by father to help. Eivor! What happened? I came too late to stop this. The Picts set fires and ran. They mean to spite us. There are more people trapped within. Free them, Eivor. Tend the wounded. We'll get them out. Get to Trickvi! You'll be safe with him!
you, Trenk. Thank you. Move! Move! Get to safety! You carry the woman. Niflheim will have to wait. You are staying here today. Oh, thank to your father. Hold on to me. I can get you out. I thought I might have to rescue you, Vili. Had I died, it would have been my time. My fate is already spun. I'm sorry, but you cannot endanger yourselves like this, lords. You have people to lead, a future to consider. The old man has wisdom, Vili. You have the full weight of this clan on your back. My father carries that weight. I do the fighting and feasting, and I am expert at both. It's good to have you watching my back again, Eivor. You see what I deal with, Eivor? The mind of a troll in the body of an Aesir. <laughs> Still the same ass stick as when we were children. I'll never change. This is hardly the time for lightness, you two. We have many injured to comfort. Well, that is your domain, Trigvi. I don't wish to be seen as a savior and healer all in one afternoon. The waters at Kinderdunfall will soothe my wounds. If my father needs me, I'll be there. Billy, stop! Eivor, wait a moment. Eminger Jarl has confided in you about his health. He has. He said Billy wasn't taking it well. Vili lives in another world entirely right now. He is cracked inside, and will not face the full truth laid before him. And how are you? Have you braced yourself for what is to come? I... I have made my peace with the future, yes. Worry yourself with the wounded here. I will talk to Vili myself. <coughs> You killed him! Die! Hold on. Thank you. 
was right. The Kenta downfalls. Billy was right. The Kenta downfall is beautiful. Now where is he? found my secret haunt. I would be deaf to have not heard you singing. Your crow's cackle could awaken the dead. <laughs> These skirmishes with the Picts have worn you down. Not at all. The more scars, the better the boast. I mean, look at my father. A battle-worn veteran carved up like a goat on a spit. Not a metaphor I would use just now. Not in his state. These waters are magnificent, no? They comfort and heal. They are Freya's gift to man. Billy, you need to face it. Your father is dying. When he departs for the Corpse Hall, you will take his place, as expected. The novelty of this soggy north has worn on me, Eivor. Too warm for winter living, too cold for summer. I've heard Mercia is more temperate. Dense forests, bright colors, thriving streams. Is that how it is in your settlement? You are to be Jarl, Billy. Your father expects it. The people of Snuttinghamshire expect it. I only want sun on my skin and an axe in my hand. Ale and adventure. Not the staid life of a Jarl. You defy a long tradition, Billy. The son takes after his father. That is the way of things. Eivor... I have my own reasons to see you made Jarl. The Raven Clan wants friends in England. And you are among my very best. You do not need me in that seat to secure an alliance. You and Sigurd are beloved here. Your father is dying, Billy. Now is the time to get your house in order. It is not my house. It is the clan's house, and the clan will decide what happens next. You have a chance to end on good terms with your father. I wasn't afforded the same luxury. Don't squander it. Billy! Billy! Come forth! Another attack? It's your father! He hasn't got long! Come to the longhouse! Ninger Jarl is at the edge of death. I must see him before he goes.
days long past makes me feel hold on to that feeling and take it with you to the hall of the slain you have become a great warrior a form a warrior and a leader worth worth song and verse i had many good teachers hemming a y'all you chief among them i beg of you now do not let my lessons die pass them on the seer is on her way father she has remedies for you cures charms i held you here really in one proud hand when you were fresh from your mother's womb i watched you grow a dirty haired boy swinging sticks and running through the mud dreaming of glory i i am proud of what you have become son <laughs> And I am proud, proud of what you will become. No matter, I, uh, I, uh, uh. father, Billy. Must prepare for the funeral. I'll send for my clan. You call on the nobles of this shire. The nobles have begun to arrive. Trukvi needs our help to see this through. We will be at the funeral pyre, overlooking the village. Picked up our trail. Hold on. What do you see, Sunan? Picked up our trail. Hold on. Should a new friend. 
This journey to the halls will be heralded by roaring flames. Who will step up to meet you? Really? Eivor. Drengur. Suniva, thank you for coming. Ah, uh, the sight of old friends lets my heart rest easy. We came as soon as we heard, bearing gifts for Hemingur Jarl. The celebration will last many days. How soon shall we begin? The pyre's construction is underway, and all of our guests are lodged and welcomed. We could begin shortly. Good. You handled this well, Trickley. I pledged my life's oath to Hemingur Jarl. There is nothing I would not do for him. The all thing must be held when the week is out and the funeral is done. The nobles of this shire will name Vili the Jarl of our clan. This assumes they will be sober after a week of drinking and weeping. It will be a grand funeral. Father will have a clear view of his lands from here. The flames will burn bright and tall for all the shire to see. You've done well, Trigger. This was his favorite spot in the Shire. I suppose we should get started. Our guests need looking after. I will look for you later. To save you from them once the mead has really soaked in. You are a true gift, Eivor. Thank you. Trigvi is Hemthoth's rock. With him around, the city can keep its peace. He is a good man. I must be away for a short time, Eivor. I want to retrieve something for my father. A gift. When did you have the time to make a funeral gift? <laughs> it was something I had hoped to give him in life. You must see it to believe it. I brought a gift from the Raven Clan. I stored it at the watchtower on the far side of Hemthorpe. Very kind, thank you. I should like to see it. I should look over the gift first. It must be worthy of Hemming a Jarl. There's a heaviness to your look, Eivor. What troubles you? Hemming had desired my counsel before he died. Wanted my opinion on the future of this clan's leadership. That would be Vili, would it not? If tradition held, yes. Trikvi has tasked me to help the Volva with the sacrifices. Could we speak with her to ease your thoughts? It's a good idea. But let me go alone. Set scouts around the village. The people here must mourn in safety. Picked up our trail. Hold on. Kissed one, the raven of battle whose fame grows with each waxing of the moon. I struggle with the choice Hemming left for me. I would have your counsel on the matter. A slaughter must be made. 
Many sheep at the bottom of the sleeping Jutten, before the pyre is lit. Follow. Come, creatures. You are to serve the gods and bid them welcome our beloved Hemingoriak with ale and open arms. You have the gift of foresight, Seer. Can you argue what is to come? I see what need be seen, when it need be. A great gift. A great burden. Did Hemingway Jarl consult you often? Did he unburden his woes? We spoke often. Yet too often he left with more burdens than he brought. He worried about the future of his clan. About who would be Jarl. Speak less. Lest our words draw foul spirits to dog us. As you wish. <laughs> Volva, I... Your heart is restless. Your mind clouded. You seek more than a guarantee of good omens. I seek the gods' wisdom. You wish to know who would best serve this clan as Jarl? I do. Between Vili and Trukvi, there's no clear choice. We stand in the shadow of the giant, the great keeper of secrets. Here, you'll find a drink of the resounding sea. Ascend the sleeping Jutten, consume the waters, and meditate at its peak. Do not seek answers to your questions. They will find you. What see you, friend? Stretch you. Mm -hmm. 
This is the summit. To seek an answer, I should clear my mind and still my heart. flesh. Why have you not reached Odin's Hall? I will in time. As the flames of my pyre burn, I will ride the path of wood smoke to the All Father's Hall of Champions. I am grateful to see you once more, Jarl. I struggle with the task you set before me. To choose your heir is not an easy thing. One man is beloved, but does not want the task. The other man is fit for the task, but is not favored. I could not give you any more counsel in life, A4. So too in death am I rendered silent. Forget wise counsel and rational arguments. What does your heart tell you? My heart is stopped. It says nothing. This should not be my decision, Hemminger. The choice was always yours to make. You were their chief. As Sigurd is your chief. But that does not quench your appetite for glory as you covet his place upon the high seat of your clan. I do not seek to replace Sigurd. Fate weaved our futures long ago. We are only following its pattern. Yet you see it coming. You welcome it. Shall I renounce my fate then? Abandon the path to glory I walk? No. I want you to die in defense of it. Take up our trail. Hold on. Too soon, Hemingayal. Your shire's fate is uncertain. I trust you to make the right decision. I still do. You did, Hemingayal. You did.
You pushed me, Heminger. I never intended this. <laughs> have no regrets, save for You have given me the great battle death I sought in life. You old fox. Was that the point of riling me up? You have seen what was needed? I have. More than enough. This is an excellent...